Hi, welcome back to Joyce's Kitchen. And I just want to show you what we have yielded with our tofu nut balls. Quite plentiful, huh? As I have said, this could easily feed a family of four for three days at $13.75 for this meal. Now, you can't beat that. And what I'm going to do now, I have finished cooking the spaghetti, so I'm going to go over and cut this off. We're going to have to drain it in our colander. So, I'm going to need my pot holder here. And we're going to get this. This is whole wheat spaghetti. I have used one pound box. And drain this out like this. Okay. Now, just to make sure we've gotten out all the excess water. And of course, I don't know if you are hefty pasta eaters, but should you find you need more pasta, you can always just cook a little extra. Okay. Now, no, we don't want to do that. Now I want to show you how to make the sauce. This is what we're going to do is, we are going to heat up our pan and we're going to add a little more olive oil. And, um, let's see. Oh, I am not putting on the right one. Okay. And we're going to let this get just a little bit of oil to coat the bottom of our pan. And,. Just to heat it up, just a little. Then to this heated pan, we are going to um, add our vegetables. Now here, I have a whole green pepper chopped. And again, I can't exaggerate enough to you the importance of a lot of garden vegetables. The darker the vegetable, the greater the antioxidant level, and it's going to help ward off the free radicals you know, that build up in our system each day from just the stress of daily living. And dark vegetables and fruits are loaded with those type of uh, nutrients. All right, let's see what's happening with our pan here. So we're going to need our green, um, what do you call it, peppers. Then over here, just to show you, I have a large onion that's chopped. I reserved from when I put together the mix for the uh, nut balls. Now, we're going to put these both in and we're going to just let them just cook to their translucent. We don't want to kill the nutrients in our vegetables by cooking them to death. So we want them to just brown a little, not even actually brown, they can, um, actually, we need to do, we need to add our onions as well. And that was like a large onion. Oops. We're going to stir this all around so it gets coated well with the oil. Like this. And it looks to me as though we could use a little bit more oil of our vegetables. This is going to give the meal color and appeal, along with the crunchy uh, taste of the uh, vegetables. So, what we want to do is to let that all brown just a little bit, just to make it like soft. It doesn't have to, um, what do you call it? It does not have to get 
little brown, just soft. And to this, then we're going to have, we have here three cans of organic uh, tomato sauce to make our uh, spaghetti sauce with. And that's like 26 ounces for each can. And we're going to add that to our vegetables and we're going to add some spices and put together quite a lovely sauce for our tofu nut balls and spaghetti. And just to speak a little bit more about miso, I just can't say enough about it. I'm very excited about this um, food because it offers so much nutritionally wise. When you purchase it, uh, be wise to read your label and look for uh, MSG. You don't want to get it if it has MSG in it. Monosodium glutinate. And also that it doesn't have like preservatives and stuff in it. So you want to buy the healthiest form of your miso. which quite naturally is very healthy, but sometimes you will find that you might run into a brand that has like MSG in it or something. Alrighty, we need to stir our veggies again. Let's see. And we need to turn our flame down just a little. They're browning. They're browning quite nicely. Just a little salt. That's what we want. Just a little salt. And then, you know, you want the crunchy appeal, and you want to be able to taste your food, taste your onions, taste your, your green peppers, taste what it has to bring to the meal, because it all complements. You want all the flavors to, like, come together so you can savor them. All righty, let's see. Let's check them out again. And then once you put your sauce, your um, sauce in, and it all like uh, simmers, simmers in the pot. They're gonna get nice and salty anyway. So you have to allow for all of those things to occur. Okay. So to this, we are going to add our tomato sauce. to the sauce, about two tablespoons I have here. That's just really a powerhouse of medicinal and great nutritional value it has. And we're going to stir it all around because it is like a paste. And 
there has actually been studies that have shown that women from Japan, Japan have had a lower incidence of breast cancer because their continuous use of um, miso, which it all has to do with the enzymes in it that has a certain medicinal properties that help to uh, cut down on the amount of breast cancer that women tend to uh, get in that area of the world. Now, we really want our sauce to just like simmer. And to that, we're going to add the rest of our Italian spice, the spices that we put in our, in our um, mixture. And stir that around good. I love the green peppers. And we're going to add some more garlic powder. By the way, garlic is a great antioxidant as well. This just gets clumpity, this garlic powder, so I'm going to just kind of like chop it up. And if you choose, you can always use the garlic cloves. Right now, I'm just going to put this garlic powder in. It's just that I absolutely love garlic. Okay, let's throw that in, and then we're going to add some more oregano and some sea salt. Don't need much. And a little onion powder. And last but not least, a little pepper. And before I forget, by the way, we are going to add a little oops I think we had that up a little too high so we're going to turn it down and we're going to add a little bit of excuse me I'm going to leave it over here we're going to add a little bit of hot pepper sauce. Then we'll just stir this all around. I think it's safe to put it back over here now. We just kind of stir it all around. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pause for a brief intermission and when we come back we will finish preparing our tofu nut balls and spaghetti. Thank you.